This is Tim Bryce with my column entitled, The Most Stressful Place to Live? The Tampa Bay area was recently distinguished as the most stressful place to live in America by Bert Sperling's Best Places of Portland, Oregon. The company compiles and analyzes data on people and places, which is quoted in magazines and used to assist people in finding a suitable place to live. When I recently mentioned our ranking in a local internet discussion group, Several people became offended and jumped to the defense of our area. So much so, I began to examine how Sperling calculated the ratings. Actually, there were several factors considered, all based on data derived from 2012. First, we have divorce rate. According to Sperling, at 12.3%, we are second to Las Vegas. I know we have a ton of divorce lawyers in our area, but I never realized it was such a big problem. Next, we have commute time. How much time we spend in traffic can definitely add to stress, particularly if people are texting as opposed to driving. Sperling reports 28.3 minutes for Tampa Bay. Index Muni reports 23 minutes in Pinellas and 25.6 minutes in Hillsborough. The real problem here is not distance, but rather our traffic lights, which were programmed by some clod in the Department of Transportation. They're so long, most people fall asleep while waiting for them to change. Next, we have unemployment rate. Sperling lists us at 11.2% for 2012, but both Pinellas and Hillsborough were no higher than 9.5% last year and is currently at 6.5%. Next, we have violent crime rate. In checking FBI violent crime stats, the Tampa Bay area committed 3,148 violent offenses, which pales in comparison to Orange County, the Orlando area, at 5,325, and Miami-Dade County at 6,913. Next, we have property crime rate. FBI stats show Pinellas Hillsboro with 26,506 offenses, which is less than Orange County at 27,348 and Miami-Dade at 44,395. Interestingly, the New York and Chicago metropolitan areas were listed below Tampa Bay in the FBI reports, but not Los Angeles. The Sperling report also claimed to take into consideration suicide rate. In 2012, suicide was the eighth leading cause of death for Floridians, whereas it is 10th in the United States. Mental health which is the days per month with poor mental health. This is from an annual CDC survey. It's 3.5 days for Floridians. However, many other states were higher, such as Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, Missouri, Mississippi, Oklahoma, and West Virginia. You get the idea. Then there's poor rest, days per month without adequate restful sleep, again, according to a CDC survey. Florida ranges from 13 to 19 percent who do not sleep well, which is high. Then we have alcohol use, drinks per month. Again, another CDC survey. I couldn't verify this one. Cloudy days annually. According to Weather Today, Tampa averages 121 cloudy days and 101 days of sunshine. Compared to Buffalo, New York, with 208 cloudy days and 132 for New York City and a whopping 176 for Chicago. By comparison, we don't look too bad. Of the 50 major metropolitan areas in the study, Florida had six entries which all rated highly. Number one was the Tampa Bay area. Number three was the Miami area. Number four was Jacksonville. Number six was Orlando. Number 10 was the West Palm, Boca Raton, Boynton Beach area. And number 11 was Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, Deerfield. Interestingly, the big cities all ranked below Florida. Number 14 was Los Angeles. Number 16 was Chicago. Number 23 was Philadelphia. And number 27 was New York City. It's disturbing I couldn't verify Sperling's sources and the weighting factors used in its calculation. Tampa Bay is certainly not perfect, but I hardly believe it to be the most stressful city in the country, as well as the other Florida metro areas mentioned in the report. At the bottom of the list, and thereby being recognized as the least stressful, was the Minneapolis-St. Paul-Bloomington metropolitan area, a fine place which I have visited. Their forte is winter sports. Ours is great restaurants, year-round golf, beaches and parks, boating fishing and water sports, but I guess Sperling has no interest in these variables. 
Maybe this is what chafed the people in my discussion group and caused them to growl at the study. Then again, maybe they were just stressed out. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.